You fool! Warren is dead. Welcome to Horror Babble. Today, we've got a piece of flash fiction in store for you. A work that first appeared in Weird Tales back in September 1935, by the name of One Chance, by the little-known author Ethel Helene Cohen. As far as we can tell, this was Cohen's only published work. The theme of this one may be very familiar, folks. We hope you enjoy it. One Chance by Ethel Helene Cohen It was the terrible summer of 1720. The plague hung darkly over shuddering New Orleans. Its black wings beat at every door, and there were few that had not opened to its dread presence. Paul had seen his mother, father, sisters, and friends swept down by its mowing sickle. Only Marie remained for him, beautiful Marie, with her love for him that he knew was stronger than any plague, the one thing in all the world that was left to sustain him. Let us fly from this accursed place, he pleaded. Let us try to find happiness elsewhere. Neither of us has a tie to bind us here. Is not your sister to be buried this very day? Ah, St. Louis has seen many such scenes in this last month. We will fly to Canada and begin all over. But my darling, she protested, you forget the quarantine. No one is allowed to enter or leave the city. Your plan is hopeless. No, no, I have a plan, such a terrible one that I shudder to think of it. Here it is. While he rapidly sketched their one desperate chance, Marie's face blanched, but when he finished, she agreed. The daughter of the mayor had died that morning. A special dispensation had been secured to ship her body to Charleston for burial. The body rested in its casket in St. Louis Cathedral, and was to be shipped by boat that night. At six o'clock that evening, the cathedral was empty save for its silent occupants awaiting burial. The tall wax tapers glimmered fitfully over the scene of desolation. Paul and Marie crept in, and went to the casket of the mayor's daughter. Paul rapidly unscrewed the wooden top, removed the slight body, put it into a large sack, and Marie, nearly swooning from terror, got into the coffin. "'Here is a flask of water,' Paul whispered. "'And remember, not a sound, no matter what happens. I shall sneak aboard the boat before it sails at nine. After we are out for half an hour, I will let you out of this. It is our only chance.' "'Yes, I know,' Marie whispered chokingly. "'I shall make no sound. Now go. The priests will soon be back, so one last kiss until we are on the boat.' He kissed her passionately, then loosely screwed the top on the casket. Stealing with his awful burden to the yard in the back of the cathedral, he remembered a deep, dried-up well in one corner of the yard, just the place to dispose of the body. God rest the poor girl's soul, he thought. She, wherever she is, will understand that I meant no sacrilege to her remains, but this is my one chance of happiness, my only chance. His task ended, he climbed the iron wall and walked rapidly up Pirate's Alley, and wandered over the Vu Carré until eight-thirty. Thank God, it was time to try the success of their daring venture. His head whirled, and his heart beat like a trip-hammer, as he slipped onto the boat, unobserved by any but the dockhands, who probably considered him one of their number. He secreted himself in a dark corner, and waited after centuries had passed, or so it seemed to him, the boat started moving. It would not be long now. He did not stop to think what would happen when they were caught. That would take care of itself. Ah, voices coming nearer and nearer. From his corner Paul could distinctly see the silhouettes of the two men who were approaching. Yes, said one, it is sad. The mayor is broken-hearted, 
We were going to take her body to Charleston, but the mayor had her buried from St. Louis just after the sun went down. If you enjoyed listening today, be sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the red subscribe button below. After doing so, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive new content notifications. If you'd like to support our work and receive exclusive perks, consider becoming a channel member by clicking the join button below. To support us in other ways, see the video description for links to our Bandcamp and Patreon pages our merch store over at Teespring, and further information relating to our releases on Audible, iTunes, and Spotify. And until next time.